Send forth your spirit, and you shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. A uh, reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. As the crowd drew near Jerusalem, entering Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent off two disciples with the instruction, Go into the village straight ahead of you, and you will immediately find an ass tethered and her colt with her. Untie them and lead them back to me. If anyone says a word to you, say the master needs them. Then he will let them go at once. This came about to fulfill what was said through the prophet. Tell the daughter of Zion, your king comes to a, you without delay, astride an ass, astride a colt, the fowl of a beast of burden. So the disciples went off and did what Jesus has, had ordered. They brought the ass and the colt and laid their cloaks on them, and he mounted. The huge crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while some began to cut branches from the trees and lay them along his path. The groups preceding him as well as those following, kept crying out, God, save the son of David. Blessed be he who comes in the name of the Lord. God, save him from on high. As he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred to its depths, demanding, Who is this? And the crowd kept answering, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. The gospel. This is the gospel. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Priests of the Lord, give thanks and praise to the Lord. Priests of the Lord, give thanks and praise to the Lord. You of holy and humble heart, acclaim your Lord. Give thanks and praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Priests of the Lord, give thanks and praise to the Lord. Priests of the Most High God, and mirror of goodness, you were a good shepherd to your people, and pleasing to the Lord. Jesus Christ is worthy of all praise, for he was appointed high priest among men, and their representative before God. We honor him, our Lord Jesus Christ, and in only him, in this weakness, we pray, bring salvation to your people, Lord. 
you marvelously illuminated your holy church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let Christians rejoice always in such splendor. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You forgave the sins of your holy people when their holy leaders, like Moses, sought your compassion. Through their intercession, continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. Bring salvation to your holy people, Lord. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all the leaders of your holy people with the same Holy Spirit. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. You yourself are the only visible possession of our holy pastors. Let none of them, won at the price of your blood, remain far from you. Bring salvation to your people, Lord. The shepherds of your holy church keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those for whom you gave up your life. Bring salvation to your holy people, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Oremos. Jueves de la Cena del Señor. Dios nuestro, que para tu mayor gloria y para la salvación del género humano, has constituido a Jesucristo como sumo y eterno sacerdote. Haz que el pueblo que él conquistó con su sangre reciba plenamente a participar del memoria de su pasión. Los deseos que dimanan de su muerte y resurrección por nuestro Señor Jesucristo, su Hijo. Amén. Let us praise the Lord and give God thanks and praise. 